Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a Aeon Fates or a Foe Tracer helmet build with the hair apparent with Imperial Decree or well also Gunslinger. We want Blade Barrage, Gambler's Dodge, Triple Jump, Knife Trick, Solar Grenade or Grenade of Choice. And then on your mark for precision hits, and then we'll want gambler's or uh, gunpowder gamble, which gives you gambler's grenade. And then we we'll want ember of char, I never thought I and then the which applies scorch, down. ember of tempering, which applies stacks of scorch, ember of blistering, ember of wonder, and ember of ashes. And then we have the Imperial Decree, which has Tactical Mag not on, a uh, Barrel Shroud and Assault Mag. It also has Threat Detector swa swa Swashbuckler, and then Major Spec, and yeah, it's just a decent shotgun for a kinetic slot. And then the Kronach, or any solar assault rifle, with minor spec, or major spec. I never and then I the hair apparent, the main gun of the build, dealing the most damage, and with the catalyst would be better, but still trying to unlock that. That's one of the reasons why I made this build. And also there are no builds out there for it. So I want our helmet being resilience mod, Heavy Ammo Finder, and Solar Siphon. And then the Grips will want Minor Resilience Mod, Solar Loader, Solar Dexterity, Fastball, and then Sect of the Force, or Sect of Force, which is about precision, precision and stunning champions. Then we want the Recovery Mod, Unflinching Solar Aim, and Solar Reserves. And then we'll want Mobility Mod, and then Solar Holster, and another Solar Holster. And then we'll want Solar Scavenger. And then on the Class Ability, or Class Mod, we'll want Resilience Mod, Bomber, Outreach, and Reaper. And now for the Seasonal uh, queen artifact, uh, seasonal artifact, we want piercing sidearm, or how, whatever you want for the first traits, then we want flame fiber and freeze, kindling trigger, blast radius, from whence you came, wished into being, heart of flame, flint striker, revitalizing blast, and rays of precision. And that is the build, and now I will be showing you how well it actually does against waves and um, bosses, and you can also use Foe Tracer, which will do deal twice the amount of damage, but you'll die easier. So this is Aeon Grass against a wave of enemies. It is very effective, and it just cuts through them until you run out of ammo, then you can use your grenade, your super, which I'm using on the witches, and then also your shotgun. It's really well for farming like XP, or if you want to get a catalyst on this map, it's good for it to get basically to the catalyst. And this Gra the grasps just no down on enemies, making it pretty easy to get through certain activities. It also does a decent amount of damage to everything else, but the foe hammer does a little more damage. It's just so satisfying, like just mowing them down. And, and now here it is up against 
the ogre from the Alter, uh, altars of sorrow which is another good way to get xp if you don't have the uh, 30th anniversary pass and it actually does a very large amount of damage but not as much as the slow choice And up next we will be doing the Flow Tracer helmet, which isn't the best around multiple enemies. It's good, but not the best. You'll die quicker. But that's why the Hair Apparent Shield is very good in this case. And will protect you from a lot, quite a lot of damage. This build is good, but it's more for bosses and like because it does twice the amount of damage. Does six thousand or more, and then it, the the Aeon Grasps do three thousand. You can see that it just disintegrates them after using ability. Do you have to use an ability though? That's a debuff with the helmet. But it does, again, do twice the amount of damage, even without a critical bow. It does 5,700, while the other does 2,900. And it's overall pretty equal compared to what. Uh, uh, only depends on what you are going to be doing. So thank you so much for watching this video, if you enjoyed it please keep watching, goodbye.